Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday Buzz In with Barb Live. Happy to have you here today. So how is everyone doing? I am doing great. Things have been busy, busy, busy. And hopefully you saw the class that I shared last night. Um, just looking to see who is here. Hi, Margaret. Uh, I see there's a few of you on here, so I'm just going to keep going until I um, see some uh, comments popping up. There we are. Hi, Diana. Hopefully you guys will enjoy some of the summary um, projects I have tonight and some things I have to share. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you for joining me there. Thank you for watching the replay. If you're coming back uh, right now, I'm doing this live. And hi, Deborah and June, Taryn, all of you jumping on. It's so nice. Hi, Nancy. Um, but if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching me. I hope that you will like what you see and give me a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I'm going to go ahead, and um, I know a lot of people get this in their feed, so it takes them a few minutes before they can actually find me and get clicked in there. I'm just looking to see um, on my phone. Hi, Jan. Thanks for sharing, you guys. That's so awesome. All right. Hi, Charlene. So, you guys ready to see some good stuff? Let me grab um, what I need, and I'm going to turn the camera down. I'll still be here up in the corner so you can see me. Um, and so let's go ahead and turn the camera down, okay? All right, so let me grab uh, my little board so that it's not so busy when we're doing our projects and see what we have. So I just did the bird's eye view class um, yesterday. You can find that here and I've also uploaded it on YouTube. So your kits will be coming as soon as I get the product from Stampin' Up! which is expected this weekend. Okay, so these beautiful cards, I'm going to be uploading my, I, I created a little ad to show you what you need. Uh, for this class, but this is gorgeous. And I just wanted to give you a little snippet before I um, add that into my uh, YouTube and I'll share it here on Facebook also. But upcoming product, scripture verses, beautiful fall cards. You don't want to miss it. Um, uh, let's see, what's next? Thank you for sharing, Deborah. And hi, Deb. Hi, Lynn. So let's talk about all these great things that are in this annual catalog. What I will tell you is that when we get a new, as demonstrators uh, or hobby shoppers, whatever you want to call yourself, if you get to order at a discount, um, you're part of the Stampin' Up! family, right? And part of that is we get to do pre-orders. And so we have pre-order happening this month prior to September 6th when the mini catalog goes live, okay? Lots of great stuff in there. You definitely won't want to miss what's in there. And if you need a catalog and you don't have a current demonstrator, um, please let me know. I'm happy to get one in the mail to you. But for tonight, let's look at some things that um, are in this main catalog that are really great things. I might not have shared much of them with you, so that's why I decided to do that tonight. Okay, so here we go. First thing, uh, let's see which one. First thing I am going to do. Oh, first thing I want to do is, um, hi, Jeanne. Hi, welcome, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. I want to share a beautiful card that I got from uh, one of our friends that are on here often. Isn't that so pretty? It's got the detail cutting, cutting there. Just gorgeous. But, um, oh, and then she's got the shimmery paper um, that retired, but it's awesome. But this is from Margaret. So thank you for that beautiful card when you sent your goodies my way. Um, I want to share that. And then before we go to the first card, let's, let me make sure I'm going to the right page. Okay, yeah. So let's go back here. We're going to look at... Share a milkshake, okay? Now, when you see this, you might think, uh, 
it has Valentine. I really don't want Valentine. But you guys, how many of us love ice cream? Me. <laughs> I really like, you know what I found a new one right now? It's Hudsonville Bananas Foster. So good. Anyway, so we're going to use this stamp set, but we're also going to add in another stamp set. Let me find it back here. I didn't mark that page, silly me, but I want to show it to you. I'm going to bring it in in person, but I want to show you the page. Page 118, we have all of these nice background stamps. Um, we're going to use the sketched plaid. That's a new one this uh, in the catalog for this year, and so I'm going to share that one with you. So that's the first card. So I'm going to move these things out of the way. Oh, in addition, um, let's see here. In addition, there are dies that go with the milkshake on page 166, right down here. Um, and so the dies are separate. So that's why when they are in a bundle, you want to grab them up because you get a 10% discount. If you're a demonstrator, you get your, your purchasing discount plus you get the 10% when they're bundled together. Now that it's, the bundle has been retired, they still have the two products, but you have to buy them separately. So, dies are on 166, and then the 54 is where you can find Share a Milkshake. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side, and let's pull in all the goodies that we need here. Hi, Jan. Hi, Carol. Thanks, everybody. Aw, hi, Sue. Uh, I'm, I've got my phone here um, with all my, uh, I'm going to put that over here so I can see the comments, you guys. There we go. There we go. Put that over there. Okay. So I can kind of look over there as I'm <laughs> um, working on our projects. Okay. So again, here is the stamp set, Share a Milkshake, our sketch plaid. Now this is a big background stamp, okay? So it's huge. Whoops, I got another stamp. It's, it's a big stamp. Now, if you still have the stamp, uh, Stamparatus, which I do, but I can't sell it I, anymore, so I might use it on my own, but I really don't put it on the videos because it's something you can't get any longer. So, um, with that, okay, um, this is what I, I have the big block, and let me see, on the sides of the blocks, if you didn't know, it tells you what size it is. This is an F, as in Frank, okay? Uh, I did not put the sticker on the back of here because the rubber will hold on to the large um, block really well. Another tip for you, if you don't have the big block, you can take this, take your stamp case and put this right on your stamp case, all right? Ink this, you can ink it up really good, and then you can use the same process what I'm going to show you here in a few minutes of how the best coverage without using the Stamparatus, okay? So I'm going to do this just because it makes my life a little easier at the moment. Um, okay, so there's that. So let's move these aside. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a tone-on-tone -tone background. We're going to be using Petal Pink and... I have a four by five and a quarter petal pink. And you will need, when you're doing this technique, you'll need a piece of typing paper, scrap paper, whatever you have. Thank you for sharing, you guys. You're awesome. Hi, Tarn. Hi, Jan Rudy. So when I have a large stamp like this, you will want to make sure to take your ink to the stamp, just like this, okay? So... We are going to make sure this is nice and juicy, inked up, beautiful, okay, and close that up. Now, I'm going to take my paper to my stamp and lay this right on my stamp, just like that. Try to get it straight. Take your uh, paper, then you're going to lay it on top, and you just want to very firmly and evenly press on top of your paper just like that and that's going to give you this beautiful image okay all right so there's that let's grab this up and look at that isn't that great i have a pattern paper uh 
just like that. <laughs> so there we are. Now you can turn it over to get your excess off, whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to leave it like that and put it over here out of the way. Okay, so we've got that part done. So the rest of our parts and pieces, I have some already die cut, and then we are going to use um, pecan pie, and you can probably see these good on here. I've got a little piece of chocolate um, die cut, I've got a cherry, and then I have two white big pieces of ice cream. And we're going to be stamping on those, and we're going to make them chocolate. This is another die that's in the stamp set. Now, I'm going to bring it up close. See how it's got the, the like, like a waffle cone has the lines in the waffle cone? Hi, Deba. Um, that's what cuts it out, and it gives you these score lines. I have a one and three quarter circle, I believe, uh, and then a deco rectangle here. Okay, so let me grab my stamping mat because we are using the polymer stamps. So I want to make sure that I'm on a mat. It makes it easier. Um, okay, so you know what? I am going to use my scrap paper here because pecan pie is going to make my chocolate ice cream. <laughs> so there's that. And then this little stamp. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to ink that up. Let me see here. Get this. Okay. Put that there. All right. I need to come in a little closer. So I want to make sure I'm right on top of this. Well, you know what? First, I'm going to do this. Okay. All right. Let's do that again. All right. I'm inked up and I want to make sure I'm right on top. So sorry, my head is like right. Uh, there <laughs> okay all right let's see how well i did looks like i did pretty good it's over to the side a little bit just like that so the second one i'm going to ink up my stamp and then let's do just like what i did with the big um uh, stamp let's take this Oops, we almost dropped it in there. And I'm going to take it like this, and I'm going to try to match it up on top like that. And then just bring this over and rub it so that I get the whole thing. So see, you've got two options on how, if you have a die cut already done, like if you get kits that have some of these dies, see? See how well that turned out? There's my two pieces of chocolate ice cream. <laughs> um, and then, because I really don't want the white area around the outside, I'm going to take a dauber and I'm going to make the whole thing. I'm just going to get some ink on that dauber, pop it right in there, make sure, and then just come around the edges and darken that up because, you know, it's chocolate ice cream. So... All right, it just gives it, you know, it just takes the starkness of the white away. And uh, I'm just gonna pounce on top here where the there's a little bit of uh, white in the ice cream itself. But I wanted to do that um, so I didn't have so much die cutting. The next card has some die cutting. And so I wanted to, uh, I didn't wanna take up the time with all, you can stamp first and then die cut. But so, all right, there we are. Yum. Chocolate, chocolate. Fabulous. Okay, so there we have that. Then before, uh, the next thing we're going to do is take this dauber, I forgot, and we're going to kind of rub it on the waffle cone to kind of uh, enhance these um, uh, markings on our waffle cone. Okay, just, and I'm just lightly rubbing. Now you could use a blender brush if you wanted to. But I wanted to show you this technique where you can just use the sponge dauber uh, for both of these. What we're doing here, okay? All right. Fabulous. Got that. Now, 
remember I said it makes the score marks for you. So there's a lot of things you could do. You could actually make this look like a regular cone if you wanted it to look like that. Um, we're going to make it look like this. And so I'm going to fold this, um, this one. I didn't, there we go. I'm going to fold that in there and my should do it with my bone folder. And then this one goes on top. All right. See the difference uh, in the inside and the outside? Okay. So before I glue all that together, we're going to kind of place our ice cream in here so that, let's see if I do it like that. And then I kind of do it like this. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. So let's grab, what do I want to grab? Um, my adhesive. Hello. <laughs> um, who else just joined? Hey, Carol, everybody. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm glad that you're here. Um, so before I glue these down, I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces down. So let's do that. Okay, stuck there. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of put that piece right there. And then this is going to um, just fold over top like that. Now see, there's a gap there, but that's okay. We're going to kind of shove this one in here like that so that we're overflowing with ice cream. Does it, see that? And yes, summertime is for ice cream, you guys. we got to have ice cream in the summer, right? Okay. Let's, um, and, we're, and we still have a little bit of summer. We're almost to fall. Um, fall is my favorite time of the year in Michigan. It's so beautiful. And this new paper that I shared with you at the very beginning, that, um, those, that card kit, oh my gosh, I was in love <laughs> um, creating those. So, all right, let's get this going here. I put a new one in here and it's not wanting to roll for me. There we go. All right, so there's that. So there we have our big ice cream cone. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of extra chocolate up here, like a, a mm, let me see, let me see. This is what I want. Um, let's just put some extra chocolate there. I don't know, maybe I won't use that, I wasn't sure. We are gonna put a cherry on, on it though and um, if you notice, there is a little slit right there in this um, die. And that's so you can put a spoon in there if you put it in the container or a straw. Or you can slide that little cherry kind of right in there like that on top. But I think, yep, we're going to slide it right in there. Okay, we're going to just slide that cherry kind of right there, inside, yum, with a cherry on top. Okay, we're not done, we got, we got the rest of it to go here. So I'm still gonna use the pecan pie, and we are going to, um, no, yeah, that's what I use, pecan pie, um, and find my circle over here, somewhere. Is it in plain view and I'm not seeing it? <laughs> oh, don't you love when that happens? Okay, underneath, no. Okay, seriously? I don't know where my circle went. And that's what I'm using to, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's grab this again. I had to move it because I was like searching for my circle for my sentiment. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to say you're the cherry on top in the pecan pie. And um, let's see here. Let's kind of go in the middle. Well, I guess I'm kind of to the right a little bit. I guess it's in the middle. Um, and then I need your, 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 tell me which one of these I should use, the iridescent rhinestones or the um, sequence, the white, I don't know if you can see them, the white sequence in this trio pack here. So, can you see those? They're kind of just iridescent and then I have iridescent rhinestones. So I'm going to look at your comments 
which one should I use, you guys, on the card? The iridescent sequence or the iridescent rhinestones? And I'm going to clean my stamps while I'm watching for your uh, responses. Okay. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You like both iridescent rhinestones? Okay. What's next? Who's next? I need at least a couple of you. Let's see. So they're both iridescent. One's just a little more sparkly than the other. Rhinestones, rhinestones, rhinestones it is. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, grab those out of my little packet here. And then let's put everything together. My card base is, again, excuse me, this is the um, petal pink and eight and a half by five and a half. And it is scored at um, five or four and a quarter, you guys, four and a quarter. Okay, there's that. So now we're going to take this and this is going to mount right on top of there. And give us that little little peek around the edge just like that all right okay rhinestones are the winner then we're going to take this piece oh you know what i was going to get something else to put behind here too okay and then our little guy i'm going to um kind of put it kind of kitty corner there we're going to pop this one um i am going to go ahead and put a couple um dimensionals on the ice cream cone okay like that and let's bring that up here beautiful all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this down hi jean all right so let's um let's kind of kitty corner here just to make it a fun card and then last but not least we have our um you're the cherry on top and of course that needs to be popped up. So thankful to have you all here tonight. I will be posting uh, my fall class coming up. Um, when I say fall class, that's because it is using the new fall paper that's coming out. And the reason I'm doing it so fast is because first of all, fall is September, October, right? Leading into November. But this paper is so gorgeous, and people do paper shares like the gazillions, some of the big demonstrators. I just don't have the capacity to, to really do a big paper share like that for a few people, for three or for four people. But they do like gazillion, so they buy gazillion packages. I just don't want to lose out because this is a beautiful class that I put together. All right, so there's our card. So let's go ahead and add these rhinestones to finish things off all right so let's do here i look at this and the cherry is like really popping out at me <laughs> that cherry um i'm gonna have to have some of my ice cream tonight for sure okay uh medium let's see let's kind of go right here and then a little one let's do another one there Let's come on up here with a smaller one, just like that. And I think that's good. All right, what do you think? Not a hard card, got a little bit of uh, die cutting in there, uh, but I wanted to show you that background stamp. This is a super easy way to use it. There's so many more things. So you'll be seeing me use this more, this, this background stamp, um, as I continue my weekly lives because I, there's there's some great stuff to do with this um, this background stamp. So there is our first card, and uh, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it needed some more white around here, or maybe something. But anyway, it it's good. It's all good, right? Okay. So there is that. So let me move these out of the way, and we're gonna go on to the next card, and it's a little a little more involved. It's using um, another annual stamp set okay i can't get that in there so we're just going to do this and um i meant to stamp the envelope 
I always do that and forget about my envelope, right? Um, okay, so the next card that we're using is going to be, I have not hardly done anything with this stamp set, uh, to be honest with you. When you do a card class, do you provide everything to make the cards? Diana, um, I cannot stamp the items for you. That's against uh, compliance because you have to have your own stamps. But when I do card kits, yes. So for example, in this card kit right here, this would be die cut for you. I would die cut those pieces of, uh, all the pieces that are die cut or punched, those would also, they'll all be die cut. So then you would need your stamp set to stamp just like I showed you on the ice cream and your sentiment and such. But yes, I do the pre-do the die cuts. Now, when you get a class and it has um, designer paper, you will cut your own designer paper uh, for the sizes that you would need for that. But um, that's a good question, Diana. Thank you for always keeping me on my toes. All right, so this next um, set that we're going to use, if I'm get finding the right one here, I put the tabs in so I wouldn't have to look up the names. Okay. All right, I want to know how many of you have this pansy patch. There was some amazing paper with pansy patch when we had that come out. That's not the stamp set we're using. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> so on the pansy patch, beautiful, beautiful samples. And look at this. This is so amazing. So if you have your catalog and you turn to page 26, 27, you have it. Okay, good, good. All right. Matter of fact, my Fun Fold Friday is tomorrow, and this is one of the stamp sets we're using to make an awesome Fun Fold. Um, I don't have it right at my fingertips, or I would show it to you. Maybe I'll show you after I have my class tomorrow. Show you next slide, okay? Um, so what we're using is Sending Smiles. We are going to be using Sending Smiles, and there are great sentiments in here. The die set is amazing, um, and I'm actually going to be... Um, kind of casing the catalog. So I was inspired by this um, card right here on page 26. Bring it up closer. Just like that. Now I'm switching out the colors and everything, but this is, I was inspired by this. So that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, I think I would put that over here. Just like that for a moment. You don't have it, Margaret. Diana, you don't have it. Okay. Pansies are so pretty. Now, what, <coughs> when it came together in a bundle, when the set came together in a bundle, there's a lot of um, dyed pieces. So it's one of those where you have to layer, do the layers to make it look amazing like the catalog. And I need a drink of water. All right, let's grab the goodies. Okay, and there's my bag and that. I'm gonna put that over here. I hate when that does that. Okay, let's do that. All right, so in this, um, in this uh, stamp set, and um, with our stamps, I don't know if you guys have realized, sometimes, when you're looking at the front, this is not the true size because see here it says images are at 90, 80%, excuse me, yeah. Get my bi bifocals up here so I can see, uh, 80%, I just grab my die. So when you stamp them, they're gonna be bigger than what shows up here, okay? Um, and it's a polymer set, but look at how much bigger those are than what you see on the front. So just pay attention to that um, down here, you know. That is something that um, I kind of learned the hard way before, but they do that so that you can see uh, the images are not true to the photo that they have on the front. All right, so there's that. Now, the color palette we are using is Calypso Coral, Highland Heather, and Old Olive. That's the colors we're using. And uh, the paper that we're using is from 
You guys remember where this one's from? Ta-da, the Le Shops, okay? So I'm not into this kind of stuff right here, you know, these this sides of the paper, but there were some great patterns on the other side, and you always have to glue them down anyway. So this is the one I'm choosing. <laughs> um, and then I have um, pre-cut two labels out in case I can't stamp straight. So that's what that's for. This is just the extra off of this piece that I had. Um, I have a piece of scrap and then I have a, um, this is uh, again, eight and a half, five and a half. And that's your basic card measurement when you are creating cards, unless you're doing a fun fold. And then of course it's, it might be different. So, all right. Let me put this up here so I can see the comments as I'm looking down. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, we need to stamp some flowers on here. Uh, and I have my little mini um, over here to the side, so I'll grab that. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead get this piece here. I guess I really don't need it, I guess, but I'm going to put it there anyway. Um, we're going to stamp... the leaf with two areas for um, flowers, okay? So this is Old Olive, okay? This is the old style, I need the, I didn't buy the, I had this one, so when we do the color refreshing sometimes, I, uh, and they came out with the new pads, I just didn't buy um, every single new color. All right, so there is that, and that's going to lighten up as it um, sits there. And then I need, uh, we're going to use these two flowers, and these two flowers are going to be, what did I decide I wanted to do? Um, I think, I think I want the flowers in the Highland Heather. Yeah, Highland Heather for the flowers. Okay, now I'm going to die cut these. So uh, let's um, ink up this one. And I need to make sure that I've spaced it so that um, I can get my dies around there when I run it through. And then there's my other one. Um, and while I have this out, let's go ahead and stamp inside the card while I'm thinking about it. So we want the inside to be pretty when we can, right? Um, okay, so let's go back to the green. And we're just going to kind of mimic to the inside. You like the pansy set? Well, that's good because it is so pretty. It's almost, uh, you know, it was, it's gorgeous, kind of like when we had the daffodil set, which was so nice. Oh, my gosh. that I'm going to lighten this up on the inside because that is really juicy dark. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Got that a little bit lighter. And then let's go back to the flowers. And let's do, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the Highland Heather, but we're going to stamp off. Um, let's do it like this, okay? Let's go like that, just like that. And then again on the inside with the small one over here and right there. So we've got some uh, pretty on the inside. Now, you know what I did not do is um, get the little inside for the to stamp for the inside, but we'll do that. I'll, I'll get it before we're done. Okay, so there's that, and we're gonna set that aside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, cut, my cut and boss machine, my little mini. I'm gonna um, cut this piece down and grab the mini here. Okay, pop this little guy open. And this is nice because with the mini, um, it's so compact that you can take it um, if you're going to go to a retreat or anything like that. So when I put these in here, I'm going to make sure that I have a little bit, I'm not going to go flush right against each other, a little bit of space there, okay? And then, let's see, that's going to just lay here. Um, and then we've got to line up our dies. Now, I did not grab my tape so let's see we're gonna we're gonna see if we can make this work without I think I got the right one without trying to 
uh, go get without going to get some um, washi tape or post-it note. Actually, my post-it notes are right here, so I might go ahead and grab that because I just feel like, you know, I don't want to mess it up. Get it in the right spot. Okay, there's that. So let me grab my post-it note and. Um, hmm. Well, let's try this first and then I will put the post-it note on. Concentration means I can't talk. Okay. All right. So let's see if I can. Well, they're on there very well. So let's see if you can do this, Barbara. Okay, let's lay this down nice and gentle. Hold it in place. I'm, I'm kind of squeezing it So <laughs> since I didn't put the thing on there. All right, so here we go. Sorry if I jiggle a little bit. Don't mean to jiggle ya. All right, here we go. Stay in the right spot, please. There we go. Ta-da. Let's see if we did it. Move this out of the way. Oh, hallelujah. Look at that. I gotta put these on here. Did, look at that, how well I lined that up, girls. Woo! Oh, sometimes, it's so good, so satisfying when things happen well, you know? <laughs> Last night I had a snafu at the end of the video. Made me so crazy, but I ended up getting it done, and so hopefully you guys understand how crazy um, technology is. So let's put this card together. Well, almost. We gotta do one more thing here. We need to stamp our um, sentiment. And so let's see how well I can do this. So I have the sentiment that says a card to say hello. I'm going to be doing that in Calypso Coral. Okay? So ink that up calypso coral it is and i gotta get right in here oh this uh, i'll be able to do this okay fabulous just like that a card to say hello and we also need to stamp the word sending okay put that over here let's get this here i'm excited this is my take on um, copying the catalog. So let's ink this up with Calypso Coral. Make sure that I get it nice and inky. And I'm going to come this way and we're going to do it at an angle, kind of like what's in the catalog, and just push that right down in there because I really want it to show. <gasps> so fabulous. Look at that. Yes. Ooh, I knew I was going to do that. Darn it. All right. You got it, girl. <laughs> some days I do and some days I don't. <laughs> oh, I wanted to use this. Uh, I need to grab the little, this little guy for the center of my flowers um, that I stamped for the inside of my card. So um, let's see here. Let's grab, uh, we got two of them here. So let me grab a this little guy so a tiny teeny tiny little dot and that one is gonna go right there fabulous and then I need this other one right here and I got my blocks right here so fantastically um, convenient okay so inside of my card got my little goodies going on there. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready. So let's take this and move this out of the way. And let's put this together. All right, where's all the fun stuff? Okay, that's my extra. Here we go. Just like that. This that goes in the inside. All right. 
So what we're going to do is we're kind of going to go on top of the sending. You know, it's kind of over that a little bit. If you look at the sample in the catalog, um, it kind of just, um, I might have went up a little too high, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to make it work. So we're going to put these on with dimensionals. So I need my little skinny dement or my minis because, you know, I use the minis lately almost as much as I use my big ones just because um, they work so well with the skinnier stuff, you know? All right, so there are my little minis on here. And you know you can also cut the edges of your dimensionals to be even smaller than what you have here. All right, so let's kind of, let's kind of do this on the end. I'm trying to make this work so that we still see the, see I did go up a little high. Darn it. Um, that's okay. They can see the word. They'll still know what's happening, right? Okay, so there we are, just like that. And then uh, we want to pop these up too, since this is already kind of um, up there, sticking up a little bit. Now, how many of you have this set that I'm using? I know I asked about the pansy. Is this a set that um, that you use very much with all these different sayings that are in, in this set? Uh, how do I want this flower to go? Kind of like that. Let's go there. And then that one's going to go like that. Yeah. Okay. So we need one here and here, just like that. All right, and then this flower, let's see, we could probably, let's do it this way. We're gonna go on top of the stem so that it looks like it's supposed to be, you know, that's just how the flower is. Okay, so there's what I have. Now, now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off shorter. So let's grab this, and like I said, I'm doing this, <laughs> kind of my version. I just saw it in the catalog and decided, hey, I think I'm going to do this. All right, so this is four inches right now. Um, this is four inches right now. So I'm going to bring this over. Let's cut this to uh, three and a half. We're going to go to three and a half. Okay. Cut that part off. And then I need to cut some of this bottom section off. So let's see, what do we want? It's five and a quarter, so let's, um, let me see, what should we do? What's five inches look like? Nah, we're gonna go to, let's go to four and a half. We're gonna go to four and a half, so yeah. We're gonna cut this down and just, so that it looks a little better proportioned. Okay, just like that. That's much better. Now, I might, I, this is going to go on here, but that's too much white for me. So, let's see. What color should we use? Calypso, I have my, my colors right here. I have Calypso behind there. Or, I've got some Highland Heather here. Let me grab it. I'll have to cut it down. Oh, that's kind of pretty. What do you guys think? Hi, Maria. And, or we could even go with the old olive. I've got old olive. My, my, my colors are right here by me. Let's bring the old olive and see what you think with that. What do you guys think? So I'm going to have to cut them down. So here's what I'm going to do. Tell me what you think. What should this, which one of these three colors are going to coordinate the best with this designer paper? Let's see here. Highland Heather, Calypso, Calypso. Interesting. Oh, and you know what? Even, hang on, hang on. I think it might be too bright, but I'm gonna, 
Okay, so I got more Calypso. Come on. Oh. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at this. I forgot about this. This is Lemon Lolly. The reason that I am thinking or I forgot about Lemon Lolly is I'm I'm scooting, I have a, I'm sitting on a pillow, okay, and I keep scooting, and I feel like I'm scooting off my chair, that's why you see me jump, go up like this, and <laughs> adjust the pillow that I'm sitting on, all right, we're going to be using these guys, these are the opaque ovals, and so let's do that, and I think that this yellow might be the right color, instead of going with the purple or the green, I don't know, we're going to add our little um, centers in, first and um if you saw my little my video last week i used um i had used these centers or these little guys as um coffee beans okay so now what do you think now what do you think about if i use that lemon lolly to pick up the the yellow that's in the in that hmm Like I said, uh, I was just inspired by the catalog. I did not pre-make this. So here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so there's the green. So nobody voted green, so we're going to take that. You guys are saying the Calypso. Calypso Coral or the Highland Heather. So let's do that. Let's see which one. It, the, it's the paper. It's the... Mm, all right, nope, Calypso. All right, all right, I think Calypso it is. <laughs> okay, thank you for helping me decide here because you know it takes a it takes a Stampin' Up family to create a card sometimes, right, guys? <laughs> okay, so I need to cut this down. So I um, what was my measurements I went with? Okay, so this I want this to be uh, three and three quarter by four and three quarter, three and three quarter, four and three quarter, three and three quarter by four and three quarter. Heather, oh, Highland Heather, N nope. <laughs> One, two, three, okay, so now I have three Highland Heathers before I cut this down. Let's pull this back in here. I don't know, I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sold on the Highland, I don't know. What do you think? Highland Heather. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I guess Highland Heather has it. I have how many Calypsos? It's hard for me to go back and see. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, I do. Okay, we're going to go with the, we'll go with the Highland Heather. Hi, the purple. How's that? <laughs> okay, so I need this to be uh, four and three quarters by three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by four and three quarters, four and a half, four and three quarters. I love you guys. I'm so happy that you're here and you're helping me make this fabulous card. We still have a lot of white, but that's okay. I think it's still I think it balances out good. I think we're good. Let's move that out of the way and finish our fabulous card. And again, the I'll show you the differences. Once I get this done, I'll show you the differences of what I chose to do compared to what is in the catalog. Okay? Not much, but a little bit. All right, so let's just get that in a pretty little frame going on there. Okay. You missed the name of the set. This set is called Sending Smiles, and um, I think it's page 24 of the catalog. Um, lots of flowers, lots of sentiments. Great dies with this set because you can die cut this word out. You can die, you can die cut the surrounding area if you guys um, don't have this. See, you can you can cut this part out. Um, you can cut the words out. 
it's it's pretty amazing actually. Um, I just didn't do all of those tonight with with this, but there's lots of cool stuff uh, in there. There's another um, a longer, bigger um, thing for uh, the sentiment. Page 26. Thank you, Jean. I knew it was 20 something. I remembered going to page 20 something. All right, so there's that. Actually, you know what? I think I don't think I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to go more to the um, edge over here. And leave a sliver there and um, offset that a little bit. That looks really good. And then let's go ahead and, and we're going to um, go ahead and put this like right here because that's too far up. So let's get those mini uh, dimensionals here and we are almost done stamping. Wow. I can't believe an hour is almost gone. You guys, um, I hope that you still are stamping with some summer stuff, you know. Uh, let's see, how far up can we go with this? How far can we go? Maybe to go like that. Let's just go right there. Sending a card to say hello. Okay, there is our card. Now, I did, I don't know if I really want to use it or not. But I grabbed the little butterflies, and I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to add those in. All right, so there's our card. So the only gems that we have are these little opaque ovals. I'm going to pull this catalog over here again. And we're going to take a look at what the sample in the... So there's the sample. If you go to page 26, there's the sample. And then here is what I chose to do. So similar, but different, right? Hopefully that will, um, they took, uh, they sponged in the middle. Um, I thought that there was already like speckles in the paper and that's why I chose not to do the um, <laughs> blending brush. Oh, I see. They did come up into the there a little bit, but this was pulled down farther. See how they, um, yeah, I, so I guess next time I need to pay closer attention to the sample if I'm copying uh, the book. <laughs> Let me bring that up a little closer. See, there's, there's that one, and there's mine. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you like mine better? Oh, you're so kind. Um, those design the di the design team that create all of these samples um, at Stampin' Up. Some of their samples, I mean, really, the, it's just amazing um, that they're so beautiful. And this catalog, particularly, you guys, I think they have done a great, great job in um, keeping things not super over crazy, but yet enough that. It gives us stampers of 20, almost 23 years now, <laughs> um, you know, enjoyment in creating different levels of uh, adding the, the layers and all the fun stuff that you can add when you're stamping. I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead. Let's bring in the first card and uh, see what we've done. Oh. Since I went ahead and stamped on the inside, I really, I mean, I guess you could take, I've got these extra strips, that one that I cut off, I guess you could put that right there and uh, kind of bring the inside or outside to the inside, right? Why not? It's a scrap piece of um, designer paper, so let's do it. Because I can. And it's a little smaller, so I'm going to leave um, a little bit on the edge there. And that just coordinates. So pretty. Right? Okay. There's that. Move these things out of the way. And then here is our other. So we kind of went with the little um, the orangey theme tonight <laughs> with the uh, petal pink and then going with the calypso and the petal pink. Um, yeah, hi Sue, 
Yeah, go ahead and um, you can watch the replay, but here are the two cards. Just wanted to share some goodies out of the main catalog. Um, and I hope that you will look and see what you have, bring them out before summer's over, and do something fun, you know? So, with that, um, you guys watch the, I'm going to upload the uh, next class um, that I'm offering, and um, it will, um, it's going to be a minimal class. I mean, really, you're going to love it. Um, thank you so much. I'm looking at the comments. So, all right. So let me switch back over and um, right here and just say thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here this evening. Um, I will do a drawing, I promise. I did send out, um, Deb, you were the winner, um, not last week, but the week before. That's in the mail. Uh, lots of things are in the mail. I'm waiting on the other things to get your class out for the bird's eye view. What else? Just thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys spending the time with me. Have a great, great evening and weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.